Hello, in the previous tutorial, we will see how to create a portlet by using generic portlet. In the previous tutorial, we create a portlet on which when we click something and click on submit button and if we click on the link, it will redirect to a new GSP. So, in this tutorial, we will create this same application by using MVC portlet. Before seeing MVC portlet, let me recap about generic portlet. So, in generic portlet, we have an init parameter in which we have a name and value. The name provides a unique key and value provides the path of JSP. And in our controller, we will fetch this and in the do view method, we will use this view template and redirect to some JSP page. In the MVC portlet, these all things are already done. Let me show you how. Look at this image. So, we already know we have a portlet interface. And generic portlet class implement this portlet interface. So after this, there is a, another class, lively portlet, and then there is MVC portlet. So MVC portlet contain all the features of above. So like in generic portlet, we have a do view method. So this MVC portlet already contain do view method. Let me show you the source code. Okay, so this is the source code. So let me search our look. These do about and do config are comes from life reportlet. Look, this is our do view method, which include by view.jsp. Okay, so let me search for look. And this view.jsp get init parameter from our portlet.xml. So let's create and see how it will happen. So right click new provide the name And click on map. Click finish. New life report with. Provide the class name. And select MVC portlet. Previously, we select generic portlet. Now we select MVC portlet. Click on next. Next. Provide the display category. So as you see in the controller, there is nothing. It's simply blank. And let me show you the portlet.xml. So in the portlet.xml we have any parameter and accordingly key value there. So let me show the JSP. Look initially JSP has this method. So let's deploy this. So now it is deployed.
to add the portlet to our page. So we provide category as Aditya, so it's available in Aditya category. So look, in our controller there is no do view method, but still it's run successfully because do view method is already in our MVC portlet class. So this is pretty clean code, nothing is there. So let's create previous application, a form and submit it. So we have a simple form with an action and on the click of the submit button, we have to submit this. Let me provide namespace false. Okay, in the controller, we create a method with the annotation of process action. So in the view.esp, we have an action URL and on the submission of this form, my action URL is called and it's search for a my action method in our controller. So our controller contain a method with annotation my process action and this my action method must be same as this my action. So let me run this. So let's provide some value and click on submit. So look, it's successfully printed on my console. So in the previous tutorial, we also create a render URL which will redirect to a greeting.jsp. So create it again, a render URL. So we create a render URL and provide a param name redirect to greeting. So in generic portlet we fed this redirect and then in our do view method we will forward it to our greeting.jsp. But in MVC portlet we have a cool feature. We just provide a param name jsp page. And in the value, we provide the path of our new JSP. So let me create a JSP. So I just need to provide the path here and that's it. So let me define this. So when I click on this, it will redirect to our greeting.jsp. You can also provide MVC path. It's same as JSP page. Both are same. So, so you can also achieve 
to redirect feature in our controller by using response dot set render parameter and in this we provide the JSP page and path of our JSP. So when we submit the form we will redirect to the JSP. So let me deploy this. So when we submit this form, it redirects to greeting JSP. Look, this is my greeting JSP. So by using MVC portrait, we can simply use JSP page parameter to redirect to some other page. Now let me discuss one more thing. So like in greeting JSP, you need to set some value or like when we submit the form the value must be shown on greeting.jsp in our greeting.jsp we can use our stiplet so we have a name parameter in our request so normally it show but in case of our portlet it will not shows because it in our request parameter and after this do view method is called and this view greeting.jsp is created by do view so we need to provide some extra thing first let me deploy this and show nothing will happen no value seen hello so on greeting.jsp this hello is not printed look that is not printed so there are two ways to achieve this so first thing is by using portal util class portal util dot copy request parameter Okay, so let me change the JSP. Click on submit and look, we have a value hello which we are submitted. So, by using portal util dot copy request parameter, you can copy all the request parameter. Another way is you can set. and the parameter name and provide the value this it's deployed
and hello world is successfully printed so thanks for watching if you like the video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe thank you so much